Hi, welcome to episode 4 of Bell Bell and Crafts. Hi, my name is Selena and I live in the UK. I am Portuguese, so bear with me if my English is not perfect. I've been away for a while, so I'm going to say for everybody to have a wonderful and very good 2020. I'm here to talk about my crafts. Um, mostly to talk about knitting and crochet. I want to say thank you to all of you that came back and thank you to my new subscribers. I hope you enjoy it. So let's start. I'm going to start with my finished objects and then with my whips. Um, I'm so sorry about the light if the kids make any noise because this is after school so they are at home and there's some traffic so I'm sorry so let's start uh, during the holidays or Christmas holidays and after the, the finish of my other video I finished a lot of objects but some I don't have with me and others I even didn't take took any pictures so I'm going to show you only the ones that I have pictures and explain what I did uh, I have a paper here so for me not to forget anything so I'm talk. I'm going to talk about my purple uh, shawl. It was the butterfly butterfly stitch prayer shawl. It is a free Ravelry pattern by N J Sharon and Debbie Adams, and I saw um, a video from Fiverr Spider. It is divided in two, but it is really, really well explained. Uh, I did it. The wool was baby sparkle yarn. I hope that you by now you are seeing the picture. Uh, it is a shade. The shade was the purple one S triple O seven O six. Uh, it was 90, 90 something acrylic and the other bit that it is missing to complete the 100% was the metallic thing. It was really easy pattern, really enjoyed doing it, but it was a Christmas present so that's why I don't have it. The other one... I hope you are seeing that too is it was a scarf but I made it in an infinite scarf uh, it was I copy some parts of the pattern from Amy B stitch uh, and it is called mindering paw prints I will put the links of everything that I've talked about under down below and um, it was 100% acrylic the wool but it was some wool that someone gave me but didn't have the label that's why it was in gray going fading to white and then go back again to the gray and go back had some paw prints and pardon and i did as an infinite scarf and it was again um christmas present that's why i don't have it with me the other thing that i finished it was a vertical cardigan but i have it with me just bear with me I'll be back. 
Okay, I'm back. Uh, it was. It is made. Uh, it is finished. But I need to put the buttons and to sew it. So it is already made. And, but I need to do the ends and sew it. Uh, I show this I think it was on episode three three or two I don't know I don't remember but it is a vertical cardigan uh, I saw a video from Regina Arato I will link down below she speaks Portuguese from Brazil but she has the subtitles in English it is really really easy to do it was made in garden stitch. I used knitting needles number nine and the wool that I used, it was, um, let me see, I, I know that I have it here. So knitting essentials uh, from Poundland, uh, you buy three, pay two balls, so two pounds for each three uh, it was 100% well it is 100% acrylic and the color is bright pink rosa brilliant but it is like a, a rainbow thing so just just doesn't have indigo or purple and purple so but it is almost done probably i won't show again uh because it's only missing sewing the sleeves and put some buttons and do the ends i don't know probably <laughs> i won't show it again um another cowl that i did uh it was i did in january so since the beginning of this month i i saw crystal if i'm not mistaken her name i will link down below from uh crossing oh i will link down below um and i did this cowl so it is like this as the buttons if i undo the buttons so it's called um i will show you so it is like this so it is more or less like a rectangle and then the way that you close Let me see. Yeah, I'm putting this the other way. <laughs> yeah, now I can't see how to, to close it. Is like this. So you put like this, you fold it in half, and then you close it. I need to put like this and needs to be um, blocked. I still didn't block. So it is more or less like this, but then when you are using it to be more comfortable, you are putting like this okay and the pattern is called easy breezy button cowl crochet pattern sorry about the reflex and it is done by Jamie from doubles and bubbles and 
it is from Ravelry. If I found it, I will put I will link down below. And I think it is this. Oh, I finished the the scarf for the homeless. I will put the picture. I finished that one and I start another one. The wool, I don't know which wool, what wool I was using because it was a lady who offered the wool. And now I'm going to talk about my whips. So when I start, it is chronically crusting. I think the, 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 the channel that I did this for this cowl but when I start out oh, this wool is acrylic uh, or yarn is acrylic and it is by my first choice from on bargains on bargains or BM uh, it was a ball of 100 grams and it was 99p but i double so it it has to and the, the blue is a little bit different but because it was double makes like a small shade but before i start that one i start for the same i start this one In this color that it is from knitting essentials and uh, it is sparkle and sorry I need my glasses and the color is pink rosa and it is sparkle yarn Illo Brillante and has 97% um, acrylic and three percent metallic yarn so you can see as uh, some sparkle but because i'm using double again um i found out that i didn't have enough yarn and when i went there to buy more to finish the project they didn't put there because they they had things on sale so they didn't put it there and i needed to wait so i started the blue one i finished and when i went back i found out that more wool of this so i'm almost finishing finished i still have this to finish because i found out that i had a mistake and i and un did that's why i already start putting the tassels so this is one whip and then I have another, well, at least I'm going to show you another two whips. So I start a new uh, cardigan, but this one is from the channel Yay from, for Yarn. And I'm doing this sim simple slouchy slouchy sweater for the mother of my godson and i'm doing i only start now so uh, i'm doing with this yarn it is from aldi and it's called so crafty double knit yarn and has 100 percent acrylic and I'm doing in, I think it is a four millimeters a circular ones. And the, the bottom is done in one. I only start, I only did four or five rows. So it is the beginning, but I wanted to show what I was doing. So it is this again, I'm showing it. And if we go to a channel, it links her to a blog and I print the, um, the, the pattern. 
Another thing that I'm doing, another two things, and this time it is only knitting. So I'm doing, uh, this is some wool that a lady gave me. It is like a, a pink with a, a bluish undertone. I really like, the, I, I don't like pink, but I like this color. So I don't know why. I'm doing another vertical cardigan. This time is with this yarn. It is again from Poundland Knitting Essentials. So the, the wool is like this. Has some in the white has some speckles, if I can call it. And seems like I'm putting some roses there. I already did one of the fronts, one sleeve, and I'm doing the back. And the color is peach. Uh, the collection is Magic Knit, and it is 100% acrylic. Yeah, 50 grams each ball. I already used one, I'm using the second and I have another one here if I need. Oh, the, the blue one is from first, first choice and it was 99p, you know, I'm talking about this one. It was 99p, 100% acrylic and the color, oh, it is, I can't see it. No, I can't see it, but it is the light blue. And finally, I hope that to fit everything in the same video, I'm doing another um, uh, scarf for the homeless. And this time, or this now is a little bit of different the color and I'm doing it in Gaga stitch. So, it is like this and it is again with the same gray that the lady gave and then i have some white that another lady gave and this fluffy green so i think it's it is looking great and at least it will be warm for someone and that's it <laughs> i'm finishing here the video it will be long but hopefully i can edit and hopefully i will be here again in one or two weeks time to show my progress and probably different projects Hope you really enjoy it. Thank you for being there. Bye.